aware is still going to affect him. Go and watch. So many people, they're such pure Muslims now, mashallah. Oh, you cannot bring musical instruments. You cannot play Islamic music. No, they're saying, it's haram. Don't take the flute, the guitar, the, uh, don't, it's haram. That means you don't know the secret of this century. Square head. They're saying, why do you have pictures of your sheikh? Picture is haram. That means you don't know the era that you are living in. You don't know the poison that we are. If you know, then that time you're going to say we have to fight it. Because now, there's music everywhere. We grow up, we not only listen to music, they're making us to worship them, to become like them, isn't it? Beatles, right? Remember the Beatles? <laughs> Uncle? <laughs> uh, some I'm hearing, they like Abba. Hey, Abba. <laughs> some, what? Mieber. What's his name? Huh? Beaver. I don't know these people. Some Malola. Malola? <laughs> Malola. They're making the young ones, everyone, so attractive that we grow up, we're singing, we're reciting, we're making the zikr of their songs. And it's entering into us and we're taking us to that world and we want to be like them, we want to be in that world. Say to me this is not happening. If this is happening, more the Islam has to say, okay, because the enemy is coming from this angle, we cannot just go like this. Enemy is coming from this angle, we cannot just go like this, we have to come from another angle. That's why we have to have mauluts, we have to have kasidas, we have to have ilahis, we have to have all these gatherings. That there is going to be music, but it's halal music. It's ilahiyat music. It's praising the Prophet ﷺ so that the young ones, they can be fighting against that inside of them and they are going to find the peace from this kind of holy associations. Same thing. The eyes is seeing everywhere there is haram. In the old days, people don't even see the name ahram. Huh? Men and women, they don't even look. That is not a name ahram. I remember I have, somebody was telling me, he had a relative grandmother living in the mountains of Afghanistan. First time they brought the television there, everyone was so excited. Understand now what the West is doing to us. Everyone's so excited in the mountains of Afghanistan that they have a television and they're showing the news. News is not uh, MTV video, okay? It's news. And one man is reading the news and the grandmother was looking and she's, oh, she's crying, she's covering her eyes. They're saying, what happened, grandmother? Oh, you have destroyed my faith, my son. I say, why, what happened? You make me to look at Ne Mahram. You understand now the modesty, the purity, the holiness, that kind of woman? Yes, paradise is under their feet, not this kind of woman's. Yes. Now, so what? People say, so what? Don't be so old fashioned. It's okay. We can watch. Ah, so when you have all those pictures around, that is from Dajjal. Then you have to have the pictures coming from Mahdi salam. And those are the pictures who is reminding you of what? Allah. Prophet is saying, there are men, when you look at them, they will remind you of Allah. Of course, they are not Allah. Square head one going to misinterpret what I'm saying, definitely. But that hadith is saying they will remind you of Allah. And when we have pictures of our sheikhs, they remind us of Allah and His Prophet. Not the dunya, not malola, not meber, beaver, eh? not the spicy girls. Like <laughs> the chef and he's saying spicy girls. <laughs> so many images, <laughs> spicy girls. Not that. Okay. So now, things can start. You have the secret, 
Now you can wage the war. There is a strategy. It is important. Then that's the time you can live your faith. So, but if you keep on looking at that, looking at those shaitanic symbols, even if you are aware of it, it's going to hit you, definitely. Because the symbol is not just a symbol, the symbol is a symbol. It's not just a symbol. It is a doorway to other things to come. So why are you opening yourself to those doorways? You shouldn't. But when you attend the gatherings of zikr, kasidas, huh? okay, let's say it, nats, <laughs> nati sherif. Huh? We may have some nats, but our nat master, natwala is not here. Oh, oh you are here. Vava. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you are in those kinds of associations, then uh, the angelic powers are going to come. The angelic energy is going to come. The very good feeling from the paradise is going to circle around you. Very important. Now, when it comes to that kind of thing, of course, every culture, they may have slightly different things. The Arabs have something, the Turks they have something, the Pakistanis, the Chinese, even they have something. That's okay. But don't open yourself up to that. You must open yourself up to this. This is, this is what I'm understanding now. I ask you that question. You know what question I'm asking you? Hmm. <laughs> you don't know. You, you forgot. When they listen to that kind of music, yes, definitely, it is forbidden. Because it is what? The doors of hell opening for them. But the holy music we're listening to, it is the doors of paradise that is opening. Understanding? Then that kind of music, it is halal. It is wajib. Of course. Because even the azan, it is. And the zikr of Allah, it is. The angels, they are singing. We connect yourself to those kinds of uh, worlds. And that time is easy for us to find our way. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa